everybody. It's Will again. I just got home from a gig, so my my voice is a little bit high um, in pitch. Sorry, it may be annoying. Some peanut butter cookies. Just a regular old mix and then put a little twist on it by putting some chocolate chips in it. Like you can see, this is the big version right here. But what I'm gonna use is, I'm gonna use some um, chunks of chocolate and then make it, make them really small bite-sized cookies, which are really great for like holiday parties, birthday parties, watching Bravo TV with mad fashion. We, we love that kind of stuff. So anyway, first thing we gotta do is heat oven to 375 or 350 for darker nonstick cookie sheet. I Start. Have, all right, so that's gonna take a few minutes to, uh, six minutes to be exact. Excuse me, hot pocket, okay. Um, now, for this mix, I've got a few things out already. I've got an egg, because that's what it calls for. One egg, one egg, and then three tablespoons of vegetable oil and one tablespoon of water. Tablespoon, yeah, tablespoons, all right? Very simple. So, first thing we're gonna do is crack open. Oh, maybe. Oh, all right. I'll bring out the weapon. Cut open. It says tear here, but that's not the case. You can't tear it. Crack open this. I'm only gonna pour half of it in the bowl first because I find if you mix things, um, mix half dry, half wet, half dry, half wet, then it ends up being a little bit better. My drink of choice tonight, Diet Dr. Pepper. Caffeine free Diet Dr. Pepper. Okay, so I've got about half the mixture in here. The first thing I'm gonna do is get um, three tablespoons of vegetable oil. I'm actually using canola, hi Ginger. I'm actually using canola oil. Um, just because it's the Kroger brand and it's cheap and uh, I find you don't get a, a flavor So uh, a flavor from it because sometimes you can get a flavor if it's if you use olive oil or something like that So anyway, the mixture calls for three tablespoons three ta Oh, I can't speak three tablespoons of This so what I'm going to do is put one Two Three. And this is going to be my quote unquote half wet in my uh, mix for now. So we're done with the canola oil for right now. Okay. I want to get a napkin, put this right there so that we don't um, get oil everywhere because that sucks. Then, just with a silicone spatula, I am mixing together the vegetable oil that I just put in the dry mixture, the rest of the wet mixture in here, I mean the dry mixture <laughs> in here, and oh, don't get it all over the countertop because um, then you have to clean up a mess. Okay, so mix that together just a little bit. Now, what I need is one egg, I'm just going to put it in this bowl before you put it in your mixture because if it's a bad egg, then you don't have to worry about um, ruining your whole mixture because if you ruin your whole mixture, then, well, you have to start over. So, all right, there's the egg. Oven's still got three minutes left, so we're doing pretty good still on the oven. Put the egg in here, right? Salmonella bowl in the, the sink. And mix in the egg, make sure that you, the camera will not show you the sink. So I'm gonna use this tablespoon that still has a little oil in it. Tablespoon, water, in there. Done, you're done with your measuring. You're almost done with the mixture. Just make sure you combine everything, variations. Are they done yet? <laughs> They're not done yet. Our assistant Tony does not need to be here because this is a really simple recipe, but he wants some cookies. So, what about now? <laughs> They're not done yet. What I'm using is just a plain old spoon. A lot of people like to use like melon baller. Oh, oven's done. See, we're almost ready for the oven. 
melon baller or um, I don't know, ice cream scooper or something like that. I use a spoon because this is the part where you have to get your hands dirty. Take, this is a teaspoon kinda. And I just take about this much, make it small, make it into a little ball, and put it on the sheet pan. Put them about an inch apart. So I'm putting them about this far apart. You see, because they're going to get bigger. All right? Okay? I'm going to continue doing this, and I'll be back in just a moment. So I am on the last couple three on the second pan. And I'm going to add a little bit to some of the ones that don't really... Um, weren't big enough or whatever um, just to make sure that we get kind of even cooking across the board and so I have two pans here of cookies and I'm going to stick it in the oven on the bottom and the top both remember the oven is 350 uh, we're going at the temperature tonight and for regular size it's eight to ten minutes so I'm gonna put them in here for only seven minutes just in case because the size of the cookie is smaller and I don't want them to get burnt so um, timer one two three four five six seven seven start and we're going there and what I'm gonna do is actually I have about this much left of the batter so I'm gonna so I finished putting these on this pan, and I'm just waiting on the, uh, I actually didn't need the second one. I had just enough for, I uh, had enough room for the rest of that batter. So I'm waiting on the rest of this while I listen to I Remember You on Under the Covers. And um, it looks like we've got about three minutes left. See, it doesn't take very much time at all. What I want to do now is get ready for the next part. So what we have to do is get our um, chunks ready and a little more brown. I'm going to leave them in there for two more minutes. We're getting it. So, yeah, that looks good. All right. I'm going to take this out, stick the one that's not cooked yet in, back in the oven on the top. It doesn't matter if it's top or bottom. These are good too. Alright. So, what did we end up going? We ended up going nine minutes. So let's go timer set. Nine minutes, start, and we'll check them, you know. Now, what you gotta do is, before these um, get really cool, and while you're waiting on your second pan to cook, put these right in the center. When you're done. Bite-sized goodness. Tony! They're done! Alright, so, good. I take that as a yes, it's good. On top of there, remember the only reason why we have parchment paper here is because these cookies are almost too small and they'll fall through the cracks, so we don't want that to happen. When you can start to see the brown right around the edges, like that, that means they're done. Okay. Out. Cancel. Turn it off. Timer off. That's it. That's how you make peanut butter cookies with a little bit of chocolate. Thank you for watching. Bye! Dozens of girls would storm up.